Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is a walkthrough of an exercise from Learn Python the Hard Way by Zed Shop. If you go to learnpythonthehardway.org and click on Read the Free HTML Online, that'll take you to the table of contents. And in this video, we're going to be looking at exercise 21 here at the bottom of this page, but you can scroll up. It's called Functions Can Return Something. If you click on that, it'll take you to this page. And here we're going to learn to deal with returns or return values from functions and how to use them inside a variable. That actually makes some pretty um, fancy things possible. This is the code that we need right here. And I'm going to go to Text Wrangler, my text editor, and walk through it bit by bit for you. Let me go there to, there we go. So the first thing we're going to do is define a function. We're actually going to define four functions. This is the first one. Um, you def for define. The function will be called add. That's the name of the function. And then it takes two arguments, two pieces of information that we need to provide. And we're just going to give them generic variable names here, a comma b. And then we close the parentheses and we have the colon here to indicate that we are now going to define the function. We indent and the function is going to do two things. First, it's going to print something or Again, that doesn't mean on the, on your printer. It means to display it to the console over here in Terminal or PowerShell. And what it's going to do is it's going to put in this text, adding, and then two um, format variables that are going to be the numbers A and B. So this says use one variable, you know, digit variable, use another one. And then this defines or uh, what those variables or formats are. The other thing it does, aside from putting some text in the console, is it, it creates a value here. Return is a special function. And what that does is it doesn't, it's not a variable in and of itself, but what it does is it makes available a value. So if you create a variable and you use this function add in assigning that variable, it's able to take the value that is returned by the function and stick it into the variable, assign it to the variable. So again, it, it creates a value and it makes it available, but it doesn't do anything with it on its own. By the way, um, normally you would not want to have this print line in here because it just makes things really busy. And you would just have return A and B and that would make life a little faster and easier. Uh, we got a few other functions we're going to define. We have one called subtract, and again, you enter the two numbers, and it subtracts this. It takes the first one and subtracts the second one. It'll say what it's doing, and it returns that value and makes it available. We define a third one called multiply, and again, we can use these because these are not built-in keywords in Python. Multiply, and then it says what you're going to do with the two word. Excuse me, the two numbers. Going to multiply, make them available for use in a variable, and then divide. Uh, don't forget, by the way. This, the asterisk is the symbol for multiplication, not an X. It needs to be the asterisk. And division is marked with a slash. Okay, so now we have four functions defined. Please note, we've defined them, we have not called them. So they don't do anything unless we call them and, and run them or use them. So that's what's going to happen next. We're going to start by this little print function that says, let's do some math with just functions. That's going to show up in the console. That's going to show up on here when that's going to be the first thing that prints. And um, next, we're going to create four variables. We're going to call the variables age, height, weight, and IQ. And we're going to use functions to put values into each one of those. So for age, Z wants to add two numbers, 30 and 5, which of course will give us 35. Then he says subtract these two numbers for height. So start with 78, must be inches, and subtract four. That will give you height. For the variable weight, we're going to use the function multiply, again, that we created just right up here. And we're going to multiply 90 times two. That'll get a 180. And then finally, IQ, we're going to assign the variable by using the function divide we're going to take the number 100 divided by 2, so that's giving himself a very low IQ. And um, so when you call the functions or you use the functions in a variable assignment, and that's what we're doing here, 
This calls the function and this assigns the value, the equal sign is the assignment operator, assigns it to this variable. When you do that, two things happen. Number one, it runs whatever code is in the function. So in these functions, we're gonna print some text to the console. It also uh, takes the return value from the function and assigns it to the variable. You don't see that happen, but it's a part of the function. Next, we're gonna print out this sentence that says age and height, and it uses this little format to stick all of those variables in there from the variables that we just defined right here. And then Zed gives us a little puzzle to uh, work on. It says, here's a puzzle, and it's gonna create a new variable called what, and it asks us to add age and subtract and multiply and divide, and it's all nested in parentheses. And so you need to know that Python is going to observe the order of operations. You know, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or PEMDAS, parentheses are the first thing, and you start with the inner parentheses. And so the first thing that's gonna happen is divide. IQ is gonna get divided by two, and then that, that result is going to be multiplied with weight, and that result will be subtracted from height, and that result will be added to age. And um, you can actually see how it all comes out. So I'll come up here and do Python ex21.py. And I can do this again because I am already have my wor active working directory as scripts. And I type in Python, all lowercase, space, ex21.py, hit return. Let's do some math with just functions. The first thing it does is it adds 30 and 5, because those are the arguments that we specified right here. The second thing is it subtracts, then it multiplies and divides. And again, that's the order that we called on those functions. Then it says age is 35, so 30 plus 5 is 35. Height, 78 minus 4 is 74. Weight, 180, that's 90 times 2. IQ is 50, that's 100 divided by 2. And it says here is a puzzle. And what's interesting about that is, again, it observes the order of operations. And because each of these functions, add, subtract, multiply, divide, includes a print element to them, we get to see the process as it goes on. So the first thing it does is it takes IQ, which uh, was defined as 50, and divides it by two. And so that gets us 25. You see the 25 right there? We multiply that times height. 18 times 25 is 45, whoops, is 4,500. We subtract that from his height. So 74 minus 4,500 gets us a very big negative number minus 4426, we add that to age, which is 35, and the result of that is minus 4391. And you see, you can do it by hand. You just have to remember to observe the order of operations. Start at the innermost parentheses, and then work out with each one of the functions. Anyhow, returning values in functions is a really important element of a lot of the things we're gonna be doing in Python, especially as we get to working with data at a later point. And so I hope this makes sense. Play around with it a little bit, see what's available, see what you can do, and I'll meet you for the next exercise.